<laughs> you see, you sat there for a purpose, didn't you, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Can I borrow you? But that'll be rough now. I'm not going to hit so the touch. Can we have a big round of applause for Chris, everyone? Just check again. That feel right? How's that? All right. Good. How's it feel? Yeah, very good. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate is the hypnotic handshake. Okay. The hypnotic handshake. Believe me, it's simple. So, as we shake hands again, is that all right? Okay. What you notice is, sorry, your first name again was Chris. Chris, that's right. That's another way of asking someone, sorry, your first name is? It, 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 you have to tell me, don't you? Does that make sense? Of if I go to shake hands now, as I move forward, his hand, look, it's, look, it's twitching already. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to, isn't it? Look, look. You're trying to fight it, I know. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Because that's another thing. When you walk up to someone, sorry, your first name is? Tony. Tony, come on. Look, he can't help it, he's got to bring, give me his hand. Yeah, so again. How are you? All right? Very well. Very well, thank you. So what I did there is match, if I show you again, the squeeze and also the shake. About three shakes, weren't it? One, two, three. A little smart, yeah? Okay. Now, that's important because in your sort of, in the wiring of your brain, that's the way you shake hands. Does that make sense? So if I shake hands the same as you, I now must be similar in your brain quickly. Oh, he's just like me. Remember, we're after that, just like me, regardless of the value system. So if we do it again, there it comes forward just like me, yeah? Let's see if we can sort of change that around. So we can shake hands again, that'd be all right? Well, what, well, what do you notice now? <laughs> What's happened to He's his face? How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Oh. you are, right? He's leaning in the waist like this, you know? like, <laughs> you're not in my club, mate. <laughs> okay, let's try another handshake. Can we try that, it's all right? Okay. How's that feel? How did you feel then? Different but what happened? Did you notice what happened immediately? It's an attack type handshake, isn't it? You will get this, and I'm going to show you how to combat it as well. We use the word combat on purpose. So back to the normal one then. One, two, three, that's about right, yeah? So thanks for that. What I gave, though, was a very gentle handshake. Now, I know that you don't normally do this, but would you mind giving me a gentle handshake? <laughs> 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 if I shake hands, and their handshake is gentle, I will meet them, just a little bit more pressure, and that's about it. Yeah? Now this is what you'll also get, if I'm just shake hands again, you get what I call the shake off. <laughs> <laughs> now at what point do you want to let go? It's about now, isn't it? <laughs> now I know it was, because you, you're three shakes, he's a three shake chap, and that's it, so you get it. So what we have to do, is that if you keep shaking, seriously, if this is a buyer who's going to spend two million with you, stay! If it's for five days, I'm staying, all right? <laughs> All right, have a big round of applause for Chris. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Right, does that work? Yes, it does. Years ago, WH Smith used to hire me to go down to Swindon to work with their top sales teams. And I used to drive for hours to go down there, just for about half an hour to train with their team and then go back again. It was at sort of the beginning when I was doing a lot of talks and presentation on business psychology. I picked up the, the opportunity to speak with them from a bit of networking when I was at Ragdale. Do you remember I mentioned Ragdale Hall a little while back? The actual commercial director's girlfriend was in the order and she said, I think my boyfriend would like what you do to go to his business. I said, yeah, she'll find, there's my card. So I'm sitting in front of their sort of national sales team and they're angsting over not being able to close big deals. I said, whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter, it's just extra noughts, isn't it? I said, what, what's your handshake like? He said, well, we're paying you all this money to show us how to handshake. I said, well, what's it like? Show me. Yeah. And what they did when they gave me their handshake, they did not match mine at all because I started to play around with a tiny bit. Then I've shown them the effect, and you've just seen it, haven't you? The effect of when we mismatch and when we match. They went, oh, okay, they went away, they applied it. The next time I went down, they happily told me of the deals that they'd seem to magically revive. And the only thing they changed was that, that's all I talked about was handshakes for half an hour. That's all I talked about, because I wanted that to be in their mind, on their mind. Just become focused on one thing and to apply it. It seems so simple, doesn't it? So simple that surely, is that going to make a difference? It makes a massive difference. Massive difference, absolutely. Just try and shake each other's hands now. Notice the different handshakes. Have a go. Hi, this is Gary Foster, and you've just actually seen uh, maybe part of my presentation tonight um, where I was giving some hints and tips on how to increase your face-to-face -face selling skills to members of the Bedford and Luton Chamber of Commerce. Now, over the next few months, I will be putting together a number and a series of workshops. Just wanted to let you know about that, and if you look at the link below, that will tell you where I am and where the next workshops are. Hope you've enjoyed the information, and if you want to give me a call, the number's just below the link.